guys, welcome back. So I'm still playing around with our torque rod control arms. Um, ended up having to make new ones because I couldn't find the parts <clears throat> from the uh, the ones that were supplied with the kit. So somewhere along the line, I lost those. Um, but anyways, I just took some uh, 440 rod, um, got these little, um, you can see those little, that little white piece there. It's just the same as the black one that was supplied with the kit. It's made by Dubro. Um, and then we've got a couple little nuts there. Um, I took um, Loctite. Let's wait for that noisy car to go by. Anyways, I took Loctite and secured this. Um, I actually took the um, torque rod out. It's, it's a good idea to assemble everything outside of the plane first so you can figure out where everything needs to be and then that gives us enough room to put the nut on the other side there so and then I got these handy dandy little clevises and there's just a little threaded rod that uh, goes between them um, it turned out by coincidence that when these are butted up against one another it's the exact right distance um, from my servo to the um, torque rod so this is the completed assembly here so you can kind of see how that how that works so um, I'm gonna go ahead and install these um, won't really be able to show you that because I have to I can't even see it myself I have to do everything by uh, feel so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and we'll have uh, a functioning aileron here in just a second okay so I ended up needing to remove the um, servo arm from the servo to um, and piece it all together and then attach it. Um, it's just pretty tight in there to to try to work your fingers and whatnot. But uh, you can see here we've got a little bit of a aileron action, and we also have a little bit a little bit flat action here. I got uh, position one, position two, position three. So. Let's go ahead and pop the wing on and we can see how it works with the actual aileron and everything. Okay guys, so I had to dial in a little bit of uh, sub trim um, just because the uh, right aileron, that's the one that we've been working on, it was just upside down before. Um, anyhow, it was wanting to be up about a, I don't know, about maybe an eighth of an inch or so. So I dialed in some uh, sub trim and anyways, here's our aileron. And then we've got a little bit of flap action here. So, and most of that chatter that you hear is actually from the uh, elevator, not the aileron, so. Obviously, you have to adjust the throws. I think that's uh, some pretty significant throws there. But uh, we've got uh, one half done. We just need to do the other side, and we'll be good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, um, and I'll just throw up this quick video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.